Now let us understand what is the requirement. Why is it that we want to separate various kinds of mixtures, right? And let's so uh, see this by way of various examples. Now what happens is that many a times we told you that mixture is a component of two things or more. When I mean things, I, what I mean is pure substance. Right? Now, what can happen is that out of these two, let's say you had, let's take the case of rice and stones. Okay? So when you buy rice from the market, there are certain stones there in the rice as well. But when you want to cook it, obviously you want to eat rice, you don't want stones. So stone basically is an undesirable object which is there, but the mixture that you get from the market contains this, so you need to remove this. So the first requirement of why you want to separate mixture is to remove non-required constituent okay so if one of the components in the mixture is not required you don't require stones so you have to remove it so therefore the mixture which you get from the market you have to kind of clean it right another classic example for this which is very much relevant in our daily life is that of water right we all know that the source of water is river, canals, etc. But the water which is contained in these rivers and canals is not safe for drinking. Not safe for drinking. Okay? So in that case, what happens is that because this water is not safe for drinking, you have to separate. Why? Because this contains mud, this will contain water and this may also contain certain other things. Let's say certain plastic bags. To make this water safe for drinking, you need to remove the mud from it, you need to remove the plastic bags from it. So therefore this mixture that is available has to be separated so as to make the water clean for drinking. Second reason, to get pure substance of high quality, okay? Now what happens is that, I'm not sure how much of you, you would have seen it, there's something which is called a distilled water. Okay, so what happens is, let's say this water came out from the canals and everything, okay. Even out of this water, many a times what happens is that in case of hospitals and all, for many of the treatments you require very high quality water. Because any impurity, even 1%, can be fatal to the fate of the patient. So what happens is that in case of hospitals, you require distilled water. So in order to get this distilled water, this water is further treated for impurities. Again, this water is what? This water might be containing, let's say, 0.01% of mud. So you need to remove even this, so as to make it a distilled water, which is of a very high quality and can be used to treat patients. Right? third point. Now, what can happen is, let's say, you would have seen that in C, the water which is there is salty. Right? Now, one can go to the sea, take a bucket, okay, get the water, but can you cook food with this if you read salt? The answer obviously is no. 
Now this water which contains salt and water has to be further treated and separate the mixtures out of it so as to make it clean and fit so that what you the salt that you get can be used in households for eating right so many a times you also need to separate mixture to get desired substance right let's say in certain cases there might be we all know that a magnet attracts iron right so let's say there is certain waste which is lying in which there is a lot of iron which is there so you use the magnet to separate to pull out the iron from the waste right again you are trying to get the desired substance from the waste so that's also another requirement to separate mixtures right 